Your inbox is a war zone. Emails flying in from everywhere. Your boss, your team, that random newsletter you don't even remember subscribing to. And if you're not careful, it'll consume your entire day. But here's the thing. Most people, maybe you too, handle emails completely wrong. They react instead of control. And I must know because I've worked with Microsoft products for over 15 years and helped millions of people through my YouTube channel, which focuses on Microsoft productivity tips and tricks. So in this video, I'm going to show you a simple, repeatable system that helps you stay on top of your inbox with minimal effort and no wasted time. But before we dive into this simple system, let's talk about why you absolutely need one. Every time an email pops up, it's like someone tapping on your shoulder, pulling you away from what actually matters. The constant flow of messages can derail your focus and trick you into thinking that reacting to emails instantly makes you more productive. Not every email needs your attention and certainly not right away. I used to check my inbox the moment an email arrived, whether I answered it right away or not. But that just meant I was always thinking about emails and working on other people's priorities instead of my own. So how do you stay on top of the email flood without wasting hours? The key is to have a system that filters out the noise, minimizes distractions and lets you process emails efficiently on your own terms. So let me show you how this system can look like. So just imagine an ordinary day at work and you're deep in work, making real progress on something important. Then ping, an email notification pops up. You glance at it, maybe you have seen that it's from an important client and suddenly your brain is thinking about a completely different task or project. Even if you don't respond, the interruption has already broken your focus. The solution and first step of my system to regain control of your inbox, make it silent. Turn off all notification so that emails don't pull you out of the deep work. Checking your inbox should be a deliberate decision and not an automatic reaction. So here's how you can disable notifications. Open Outlook and go to File and then Options. In the left-hand menu, click on Mail, then scroll down to the Message Arrival section. Here's where you can take control. Uncheck Play a Sound so you don't get distracted by unnecessary pings. Uncheck Show an Envelope icon in the taskbar so you're not tempted to check every new email. Uncheck display a desktop alert so those pop-ups don't pull you away from your work. And if you really want to go all in, disable enable notifications on mobile as well. Once you've done that, click OK to save your changes and enjoy a more focused workflow. Now that your notifications are off, you're no longer getting constantly pulled into your inbox. But that leaves one big question. When should you actually check your email? If you're not reacting to every new notification, how do you make sure nothing important slips through the cracks? Most likely you start your day checking your inbox, maybe with your morning coffee, maybe right before diving into work. Then throughout the day, you keep checking whenever it pops into your mind. No real structure, no clear strategy, just a constant back and forth that keeps pulling your attention away. Before you know it, half your workday has disappeared into emails. But the key here and the step two of the system is to schedule when you check and respond to emails instead of letting them dictate your day. Set fixed times that work for you, maybe once in the morning, once after lunch and once before wrapping up. That way emails get handled but on your terms. Once you've picked your email slots, put them in your calendar like any other important meeting. Block out 30 minutes so you're reminded and no one else can take that time away. And treat those sessions as set in stone. No sneaky inbox checks in between. Stick to them and you'll free up a ton of mental space and time throughout the day. Now that your scheduled email time has arrived, it's time to put it to good use. But don't just dive in and start replying emails in the order they appear. That's a guaranteed way to get stuck handling low priority messages while the important ones are buried. Instead, take a minute to scan and categorize. 
Think of your inbox like a stack of papers on your desk. You wouldn't just grab the first one and start working. You'd quickly sort through, separate the urgent ones from the non-urgent ones and decide what needs action now and what can wait. And here's the good news. You don't have to do this manually every time. Outlook can do the heavy lifting for you. Set up rules to automatically filter emails based on sender, priority or topic so that when you open your inbox, the most critical messages are front and center and everything else is neatly filed away. So here's how to automate your inbox. Go to Outlook rules and set up auto filters to sort newsletters, CC messages and low priority updates into folders. To do that, click on rules under the home tab, then choose manage rules and alerts. From there, create rules that automatically move non-urgent emails to designated folders. For example, set up a rule that filters all newsletters into a read later folder or routes CC emails to a separate folder to prevent unnecessary clutter. And next, use conditional formatting to make key emails stand out instantly. Go to view, view settings, conditional formatting and click add to create a new rule. Then name it something recognizable like important emails. Click font and choose a bold color or style to highlight emails from your manager, key client or project leads. Then click condition and go to the from field to enter the email addresses of these important contacts. Apply and save your settings and now whenever an important email lands in your inbox, it will visually stand out, making it so much easier to prioritize at a glance. Now that Outlook has done its job sorting your emails, your inbox is much more manageable. But there's still one thing left, deciding what to do with each message. If you start going through them one by one without a real system, you'll quickly get stuck in a loop of half-finished replies and emails piling up again. Here's where the two-minute rule comes in. If an email takes less than two minutes to respond to, handle it immediately. No procrastinating, no adding it to a to-do list, just get it done and move on. These quick replies prevent minor tasks from turning into bigger workload later. And for anything that takes longer than two minutes, don't stress. Those emails aren't getting ignored. You'll handle them, but in the next step. So for now, focus on keeping momentum and clearing the quick ones so they don't pile up. Here's how to apply the two minute rule in practice. When you open an email, ask yourself, can I deal with this in under two minutes? If yes, reply, forward or archive it right away. If no, let's see how the final step can help you out. Now that you've cleared the quick emails with the two minute rule, you're left with those that require a bit more effort. But before you start typing out long replies, let's make things even easier. Instead of crafting each response from scratch, use templates, signatures or quick steps to speed up the process. If you frequently send similar emails like scheduling requests, meeting confirmations or status updates, save time by setting up templates. Instead of rewriting the same message over and over, Outlook lets you store pre-written emails that you can quickly insert and send. To create a template, start by drafting an email as you normally would. And once it's ready, go to File, click Save As and choose Outlook Template OFT as the format and save it in a location you can easily access. When you need to use it, go to New Items, More Items, choose Form and select user templates in file system and open your saved templates. Alternatively, you can just double click the OFT file you have saved earlier. From there, you can make any minor adjustments before sending it off. I really love templates, but they might seem a bit inconvenient to set up or use. And that's where email signatures come in place for even faster responses. Unlike templates, signatures are quicker to insert and perfect for frequently used responses. If you want to quickly insert a common response into an email, setting up a signature is the easiest way to do it. While you're in an open email draft, click on signature in the toolbar and select signatures, 
and from there click new to create a signature and type out your standard response. You can set different signatures for different situations, like one for meeting availability and another one for project updates. When composing an email, just click signature and choose the one you need. For example, if you regularly send a weekly project update to a broader audience, instead of retyping the same structure each time, create a saved signature with a standard format. This way, you only need to fill in the current week's details, attach relevant screenshots or links and send it off. Another powerful way to speed up your email workflow is by using Outlook's Quick Steps. This feature lets you automate repetitive actions like forwarding emails, moving messages to specific folders or flagging tasks with just one click, saving you time and effort. Imagine you receive many specific client or account requests every day and you always need to forward them to your team while adding a quick note. Instead of doing this manually every time, you can automate it with quick steps. Go to home, quick steps and create new. Name it something relevant like forward to team. Then choose forward as the action, enter your team's email addresses and pre-fill a message like, here's a recent request that needs your attention. Please review it, discuss it with your deal team and let me know if you have any questions or proposed next steps. You can even mark the email as read and move it to a specific folder in one click. Next time an update request lands in your inbox, just use the quick step and it's done instantly. No repetitive typing, no wasted time. But what about emails that require more thought and can't be answered immediately? Don't let them linger in your inbox. Instead, add them to your task list. If you use Microsoft To Do or Planner, simply flag the email and it will appear in your task list. Alternatively, direct your email into your Outlook tasks or put the details into your preferred task manager. So if you're using Outlook but not Microsoft To Do, you're missing out on one of the most seamless integrations available. Managing tasks can feel overwhelming at first, but once you get it right, it becomes a game changer for staying organized. You don't know Microsoft To Do yet or maybe not enough? No worries, just watch this video next, where I'll walk you through everything you need to know about Microsoft To Do and how it can help you manage your tasks effortlessly.